What's up ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to set up a TeamSpeak server that you and your friends can have. Uh, it's free. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to teamspeak.com-downloads and you're going to want to download both the 64-bit server version if you have a 64-bit computer or the 32-bit if you have a 32-bit computer. I got a 64-bit so I'm going to go ahead and download this. I agree, submit. And then it's going to give you a download right there. And then while you're doing the download, you're going to want to go to portforward.com. And then you, it's going to give you the option to click list of all routers. You're going to do that. And whatever router type you have, you are going to find it in this list. I happen to have uh, Xfinity Comcast, so they give you and Xfinity router, which is the TG862G. And then once you're on this website, or on this page, you can go ahead and uh, control F, and then uh, find TeamSpeak, TeamSpeak 3 server. And it's going to give you the list of ports that you need to forward somewhere. Oh yeah, right here. You need to do 9987 I believe it's the same for all routers, actually. I'm not really sure. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is go to your start menu, open up command prompt, and then uh, type in IP config. And then scroll to the top. It should give you your IPv4 address. And then you would type that in here in your address bar and it'll bring you up to a website and uh, search around for the option for port forwarding on Xfinity it's just going to be under advanced and then you're going to want to find the uh, three ports that you need to uh, forward and you're just going to hit add service type in whatever name you want blah 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 uh, and your starting port 9987 and ending port 9987 just click add or save or however it is uh, on your page and you just want to forward 9987 10011 and 30033 both are all three you're going to forward as TCP and UDP and you can name them whatever you want once after all that your TeamSpeak server download should be done. And you're going to want to drag the TeamSpeak 3 server out of a WinRAR onto your desk top. And you can just double click on this. Then you want to find the uh, executable. Double click that, run it. wait for it to open it's going to give you this which is the thing that you need you can copy and paste this in a notepad file or don't it doesn't really matter uh, but you're going to want to then open up your TeamSpeak client And then hit connect and you can type in localhost you'll have to actually get your IP uh, for your computer and send that to your friends and then they will be able to directly connect to that but you would connect to this and usually I already have mine set up but usually when they pop up uh, it'll pop up with a box in order to copy and paste your privilege token into and uh, you'd be able to copy and paste this in there and you'd have your admin privileges. Uh, after you have all that set up and you have your ports forwarded all your friends would have to do is uh, type in your IP address into the connect box and it would be set up as long as you have the uh, TeamSpeak server open. 